This is the installation and basic operations training video for the Buck Scientific model M500 infrared spectrophotometer with the Grams AI spectroscopy software. When the M500 instrument is received, please remove all the components from the box, including the M500 itself, the bag with the cables, floppy disk, cover and instruction manual, the thermogalactic software for the Grams AI if purchased, and attached to the front of the instrument is a very specific unpacking instructions which must be followed exactly prior to plugging the instrument in. The Buck Scientific M500 is shipped with the optical components locked down and protected to avoid potential damage in transit. These lockdown devices must be completely removed prior to plugging the instrument in, otherwise damage to the mechanical assembly can occur. The customer is responsible for the final installation of whatever software package is purchased with the M500, and Buck Scientific cannot be responsible for any incompatibilities with their software or operating system. When the instrument has been unwrapped from its protective plastic, remove the front panel, which is held in place with a little magnetic latch, and then it is necessary to tip the M500 backwards on its heat fins so that the lockdown screws for the cover can be removed with a flat screwdriver. Save these screws in case the M500 needs to be returned to Buck Scientific to secure the cover in place. Once the screws are removed, the instrument is gently lowered back into position. The cover is raised and using a yardstick or appropriate dowel or piece of plastic the cover propped open. You can see that there are mirror covers and diffraction grating covers to protect these delicate optical assemblies from dust or fingerprints. Carefully remove the yellow tape holding them in place and again, it is recommended to keep these covers aside in case the instrument is ever returned for service or maintenance. Be careful not to touch the surface of the mirror or the diffraction grating. And because of some of the spring mounts, try not to move the mirror or diffraction grating, which will offset their positions. Using a wire cutters or nippers, you will see a series of cable ties holding the various optical drive arms in place. Carefully cut these. And again, these can be replaced with other devices such as rubber bands or new cable ties if the machine needs to be returned. When this is done, the cover can be closed. And we're ready to plug the instrument in, connect the interface cable, and load the software. For the Grams AI software, a Windows XP operating system is recommended. And for the EasyScan Buck software, anything from Windows 98 or higher is appropriate. The cable plugs into the rear right corner of the instrument and works on a typical 110 volt service depending upon your country of origin. There is also a custom-made data cable with a 25-pin connector which goes to the back of the M500 in the rear left corner and it is recommended that you attach the lockdown screws to make sure you have a good electronic fit because this is how data is transferred to the PC to generate your spectrum. The other end is connected to a PC and will now show how to install the software. The M500 offers several data output features for both data control and instrument operation. From a digital system using a PC, you have the Grams AI software from Thermogalactic, which is a very sophisticated and very complete spectroscopy program. And for basic operations or academic applications, the Buck EasyScan will allow you to bring a spectrum on screen, do simple overlays, zoom in, and also do limited peak picking. 
Certain applications require an analog output, and the M500 has a zero to one volt output that can go to a data logger or strip chart recorder. Let's take a look at the various connections at the back of the M500 to show where these components can be plugged in. On the back of the M500, we can see our 25-pin serial port connector, which is used to interface to a PC. Buck Scientific also has a specifically configured strip chart recorder, which uses a 9-pin D connector shown beneath that. And for other analog operations, we have a standard banana plug connections with a 0 to 1 volt output. Again, be sure that the 25-pin serial connection is tight, as this will ensure good data quality and avoid dropouts of the data packets as they're sent from the instrument to the M500. With the instrument plugged into the back of the computer via the 9-pin serial port, we're now ready to load the Grams AI software so we can control the instrument and manipulate the data. Grams AI consists of a floppy disk which has your registration and security codes on it, and that is inserted into the drive, and then the operational CD itself, which is the system uh, software, is inserted into the CD drive. From this point, we proceed to install the software following the directions in the enclosed sheet that comes with the Buck M500. The Grams AI will begin with the auto uh, load sequence and just follow the procedures as shown on screen by selecting install products, reviewing the licensing agreement and agreeing to it, And then we recommend the typical installation based on the options that you have. You will see a default screen showing the options on the software CD. And these will begin to load automatically. Please be aware that this may take several minutes and that there are various screens that the system will flash through prior to its completion of loading the software. As you can see, the screen will flash back and forth several times as it loads each of the ordered options. And at the end, you'll see a final setup screen. Prior to loading the My Instrument CD that has the Buck Scientific driver software on it, it is important to run the Grams AI the first time so that you can get a proper loading of all the drivers. At the end of the installation you can see the little screen showing finished installing the various products that were ordered with the system. Click OK. Close that screen. Then go to uh, Start, Programs, find the Galactic, and click on the Grams AI to finish the installation. And based on the software being configured for your system, you will see a final setup screen and from there you will run the software as we will show you shortly. All right, click OK when you come to the system viewer registration. Click Yes to update your applications. Click Update for the package installation window. And then OK to begin running 
the Graham's AI. This basic template that you see here is your fundamental Graham's AI format. And you can see from the toolbars up at the top, there's all your control and manipulation and data collection features. All right. Once this is run, click exit to leave the software, close your windows, and then eject the Grams AI CD from your CD drive, and you'll have a second CD containing the My Instrument drivers specific for the Buck M500. Insert this CD in the drive and proceed to follow the instructions on the installation procedure. Click on Start. Run. and set up from the Buck CD startup file. This will load the appropriate drivers for the Buck M500. Use the default file locations by clicking Next. And wait for the Buck M500 instrument drivers to be installed. With the M500 on, you will see a little window appear at the end of the driver installation that asks you if you want to run the Buck M500 software. Click on Yes and verify the initialization between the PC and the M500. You're asked initially to define your communication port, which is COM1 or whatever plug you set on your PC. Click OK, and you'll see the instrument software show the collection screen and COM port initialized in the upper left-hand corner. At this point, you know the installation of the software and the connection of the cables is complete and satisfactory, allowing you to run. You click on Instrument, and then Instrument Setup. We can now communicate directly with the machine and set any of the features, such as the beginning wavelength, the uh, resolution scale, whether it's percent T or absorbance, the scan type, the uh, scan time, and the uh, gain setting, which is usually zero or one depending upon the accessory. One of the first things we need to do is collect a background scan because this is a single beam infrared. So we click on Collect, Instrument Setup, and from this screen we want to make sure that the scan type is set for reference mode, as seen in the drop down box if it is not selected. Our gain is set for zero, and our scan time is set for three minutes. At this point, we click on the red Scan Now box, and our single beam background reference scan will be stored in the instrument and the PC. And you can see the data on the screen as the instrument begins the scan at 4,000 wave numbers and continues down to 600. When the scan finishes at 600 wave numbers, it will automatically process the scan, and you will see it change back to page one of the Grams AI software, which gives you your various manipulation options. Let the software change the page for you automatically, otherwise you may interfere with the ability to do real-time ratioing of the percent T spectrum. Now you can see we're in the 
Ramsay Ice Cream, we click on File, 